It's here, Gels. It's here. Best of the gallery. The best that we have. Are you excited? I spit a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That's how excited I am. You done? Yeah, I think I, I spit it all over. <laughs> Put it down, son. We got to review some of the best cars in our gallery. So this isn't your average reviewing your cars episode. Ain't your mom's reviewing no, your cars. No, this is advanced reviewing your cars. Yeah. So we had you guys send in some of your best builds and then we went through and we looked at some of the cars in our gallery we had our team members here at feminine industries pick out some of their favorites we voted we consolidated down to i believe how many cars joe's five six One, two three four five six holy six cow cars and they are all bangers so make sure you watch until the end but don't forget add your car to the gallery to get it added so hopefully you can get it reviewed in the future or featured or help an enthusiast find their fitment over at feminineindustries.com forward slash ad. Okay, you yes. ready to do this? Wheels, tire, suspension at yes. FitmentIndustries.com. Yes. Get entered to win a Honda S2000. All yes. right, let's do this. Yes. What's the first car of the day, Josh? All right, so first up, we have a 2020 Toyota Yaris. Now let's see. That's not what I was expecting. Everyday Yaris. <laughs> this is advanced. Yeah, I'm sorry. I wasn't right. expecting a Yaris off the bat, but I'm here for it. All right, so, so let's see. Vogue 21 C's, 18 by 10 and a half, Dude. plus 15. Square setup on some Toyota Praxis R888s, 29530 <laughs> on some BC <laughs> Racing coilover. So, over fenders on here. We got a Pandem Wide Body Kit, GR Yaris. I never thought I'd fuck with a Yaris so much. Dude, this thing Holy is so cow. sick. The body Damn. kit on, oh, the attention to detail on everything too. Yeah, it's like- The full cage all gutted out. All right, so we're doing this a bit different, Gels. We have an advanced fitment rating scale for this one. So this isn't your typical reviewing your cars where we just do a general, you know, overview. We have multiple categories here. So we have wheel and tire package that will rate one to five. Okay. We have the fitment, the neck breakability, and their performance. They're all being rated on one to five. We'll add those all up. That'll give you the total and then we'll have the best of the gallery okay. winner. So let's start off with the Yaris. Wheel and tire package. I'm gonna rate the wheel and tire package on this one a four. I think I'm also gonna give it a four. Like I said, it's not my taste, but like I get it. Like it's still a dope wheel. It's still a crazy package on this It is car, a really so. good setup. So fitment on one to five. It's on BC coilovers. I think with the wide body kit, it's sitting pretty I mean, it's dang a very, good. It's a very functional setup, right? Now the rear, in my opinion, looks like it has a little tiny bit of gap. This is the best of the gallery. So I'm gonna be picky about okay. it. All right. All right. So for the fitment rating, I'm gonna give it a four also. I'm gonna give it a four also because I I think, you know, he for what he's going for, it still looks really good. So moving on to neck brake ability, this Ooh. one's easy for me. Five. That's five. If, if <laughs> I seen this driving down the road, I would 100 percent yes. take a second look. Yeah. You'd be there's, like, what the hell was yeah, that? Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind. And then performance, I'm gonna give it a two. We have bolt-ons done, and that's about it. However, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a three. The the aesthetic is rally car yeah. almost, or like track car. Yeah. So I expect a little bit more done to the engine. However, I mean, he has the performance tires, performance suspension, stuff yeah. like that. It's ready to go. Yeah. Cool. All right, this is Matt Cox, 0015. <laughs> Nissan 200 SX. All right, so we got a nice little S15 here. Damn, Dude, this son. thing is gorgeous. I love the work wheels on here. I appreciate the photos. Too. Yeah, the, the photos, photos are really good. I mean, killer. in fall, yeah. the photos are getting you bonus points. <laughs> All right, so we have some information about this too. All right, so we got some up, we got hard race rear toe arms, GK Tech rear camber arms, uh, camber bolts, all that sort of good stuff to get the fitment dialed in, extended wheel studs. So obviously the fenders are rolled, the inner guards are pulled out. It's on BC coilovers. Um, this car was resprayed, so that's why the paint is looking so minty. Roof wing, carbon side skirt diffusers, top secret style two carbon diffuser with extension, a carbon fiber exhaust surrounding, so going around the yeah. exhaust, clear side into Indicators. Custom main metal intake pipe with Apex pod filter, Tomei coil pack, three inch turbo back exhaust, A spec blast pipes, Walbro 255 fuel pump, split fire coil pack, blitz front mount, intercooled carbon fiber front strut brace and rear strut brace. Eight mil spacer, spacer in the front. Spacer, I hardly know her. There it is. All right, so enough talking about it. Let's look at it. Alrighty, so let's rate the wheel and tire package. So we okay. have the work GT5s yep. on Yokohama Advans. Yes. You know what? I'm giving it a five. I'm also gonna give it I'm a five. I'm gonna give it a five. I love it. Let's go on the fitment side of things. I'm gonna give fitment on this car a four. I'm gonna give it a five. Whoa! I think, I think 
I, I agree it could come down a little more, but I like it. All right. That's where I'd leave it. Neck break ability. So this one's tough. Is it gonna break next to the everyone on the road? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a four. I'm gonna give it a four also. That's where I was leaning. All right, and then performance. Like we said, a lot of uh, bits and pieces mm -hmm. on here. I'm gonna give it a three. I wish yeah. there were some more engine bay pictures in there True. so we could go off of, but just what's off yeah. list, I'm gonna give it a three. I'm gonna give it a four. Four, cool. Remember, we're gonna add all these yep. up at the end and find out what is the best of the gallery. So let's move on to car number three. Are you fucking kidding me? A 2003. Are you Joking. Nissan 350Z. This is at Smurfette's 33 350Z. So this is making an appearance again. And if you're an OG of Fitment Industries, you know this car. But if you're not, I'll have you know that he got roasted <laughs> for his been rating. I've so much on the internet <laughs> for disliking a vehicle in all my life. So I think just for Fitment Industries sake, we had to add this <laughs> to the best of the gallery. We are on some Black Rocket 997s, 15 by 10 and a half, negative 38 on some Yokohama Geolanders ATS 265-75. These are some truck sizes, brother. <laughs> yeah. And it's a custom lift. All right. Not your typical 350Z. No. So we have cut fenders. Uh, we really? re removed the inner liner, <laughs> rolled the rears, custom made springs, uh, BC Racing bucket adapters with longer springs, aftermarket A-arms and camber arms, front and rear ride bucket seats, front and rear, uh, four point harness with rear strut bar, quick release and aftermarket steering wheel. It's massive. I love the idea of off-roading a 350C. <laughs> I think it's ridiculous and funny. Gels is having PTSD flashbacks right now. It's hard. Let's get into it. So the wheel and tire package. Two. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a three. Okay. I'm gonna give it a three. It's something different. Yeah. Uh, let's look at the the fitment. I don't know much about black rocks. One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little it's a little pokey, but it's for this build it's a little though. Pokey little wheel Tell, gap for in this there. build. It's an overlander build, All so right. it's meant to. <laughs> If the wheels were flush, it would look weird, yeah, right? You're right you're so right. I'm gonna give it a three also. All right. Neck break ability, 100% of five. Five, five. it does break next. <laughs> it would break next, if I seen this. I'll give them that. <laughs> All right, and then performance. Two. Two, yeah, I think that's fair. I think that's fair there. So 350Z, don't feel bad. I love it, I still think this thing's awesome. Alrighty, let's move on Ooh. to the next car. We're switching up gears a little bit okay. here. So this is Bartek Audi's 1973 Audi 100 Series GL. Hell yeah. We got some Rotiform LHR 17 by 7 plus 40 and 17 by 8 plus 35. Some little guys. Nanking NS2s, uh, 175, 35, Whoa. and 185, 30 feet. Whoa, no, 185, form. 35. Yeah, 185, 35. Jeez, what did I say? Joe, 180. Oh, 185, 35. Airlift performance. When his tire Air size suspense. starts with one. Mm -hmm. Obviously a tucked setup, right? but yeah, it's to put it on the ground. To like get not a tucked setup and not be like 10 feet off the ground, you need like 12 inch wheels. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Okay, so, so wheel, wheel and tire package. package. So we got the multi-piece mm. rotiforms, right? 17s. 17s. I got Nanking tires. Yeah, this is gonna be tough for me. So wheel and tire package, I'm probably gonna give it a three. Yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna give it a four just because I think it matches the build yeah. really well. I think- That's fair. I think that's fair. Know, finding wheels to fit yeah, that's like fair. this is difficult. And that's I, I, fair. I, that's fair. Funnel cake at the fair. Stance slash fitment. Okay. This is <laughs> nuts to have it just talking like yeah. that. So I'm gonna give it a four. I think I agree. I'm, I'm also gonna give it a four. All right, neck break ability. I'm gonna give it a three. I think it's a little more subtle. It's nothing insane. I think if you've seen this driving down the road, you'd take a glance for sure, but not a neck like. Yeah. You know what I I'm think, saying? I think you're right. So I'm gonna give one. it a three as well. All right, All right performance. This uh, one's tough. It didn't give any information. Nope. So this is what you get for not adding your performance to the no oh, engine base shot. so shots. bad. It feels, well, I'm sorry. Like, it's a, well, it's one. A performance. Oh, it's a one. Yeah. It's a one. Yeah. It's just, there's no eight. I love the car. It's just, I'm rating it on the scale that we got. You gotta be fair. Yeah. Fair. Fair. Go to the fair, get a funnel cake. All right. Woo! The number five, 1999 Nissan Skyline R34. So this is rival GTRs. Dude has an insane car collection. Volk T37, SLs, 18 by 10 and a half plus 22, Michelin Pilot Sport, four S's, 245, 40, Fortune Auto Coils, 
Let's get into it. Got an air cup system on there. I like Custom that. Custom plenum creations, carbon fiber intake manifold, billet valve covers, HKS cams, Spectrum Board Sports Solution turbo manifold. And it made 506 horsepower at 17 and a half pounds on 93 octane. Hell yeah, brother. Jesus Christ. So if you're watching this and you don't know what the Fortunato air cup setup is, what that is, is it's a little air cup that sits on top of the coilover. Now it's not meant to be driven with air no, in it and no, air it up. just to help get yeah, it on So it let's say you're putting the car in a trailer or you have a steep driveway, yeah. you air it up quick, drive it over and you air it out and then it just sits on the regular yeah. coilover. It's really a unique system and it's convenient as hell. Yeah. Wow, look at that engine bay. Dude, that That's intake, look porn. at the freaking intake pipe. Yeah, that is it's insane. absolutely gorgeous. Nice little clean trunk setup yeah. too. It's so funny. It's like, like dual compressors. It's like, yeah, it's static and you just pop the trunk and there's like an air setup. And then you're, you're like, like, wait, what? Wait, you need a dual compressor setup for your air cups? That seems a, a bit extra, but <laughs> why like not? It. When in Rome, oh, do it. Oh, damn. I didn't realize this was Midnight Purple either. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so on the wheel and tire package, I mean, you nailed it. That is like an iconic setup. Five. Five. Now the fitment, again, I think there's a slight room, but it's definitely a functional setup. Four. Four. And then neck breakability, five. Honestly, yeah. a Midnight Purple R34. Tell me you wouldn't break your neck. <laughs> I'm gonna give it four. Okay, that's fine. And then performance? Five. Five. Definitely the most yeah. you've seen on this. And that engine bay is so It's so good. Beautiful. All right, so sixth and final car of the day, kicking it back a couple years from it's the previous with the car. Nissan. 1992 Nissan Skyline R32 GTR. We got work, GTR. work Meisters. It changed GTR. 19 by 11. Changed GTR, that's his name. 19 by 11. Negative 55 <laughs> in the front. 19 by 12, negative 66 in the rear because <laughs> fuck all. Michelin Pilot Sport, four S's, 29530 and 30530 on air Jeez. performance air suspension. This car is a fully rebuilt RB26 with forged internals with twin Garrett GT2860 R turbos, boosting a 22 PSI, making oh. a healthy 575 all wheel horsepower. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> fucking wild. So body work here, we're looking at Tandem V1 kit for the R32. Hell yeah. McLaren Onyx Black with ceramic pearl plasma cut and welded fenders. Jeez. So we got a McLaren paint on here. That's kind oh of dope. God. That's just bragging rights at that point. <laughs> All right, what are you, what are you thinking? Okay, so Dakota? for Let's... the wheel and tire package, five. Dude, that is insane. Michelin yeah, Pilot Sports and huge, massive work wheels. Mm -hmm. Just looks insane. All right, the fitment. Five. Quit trying to sweet talk me. I'm giving it a five. All right, good. Thank and you. then neck brake ability. So I gave the Yaris a five. Yeah. Just because of the livery and everything on it really helped it stand out. And that's what I'm looking for in neck brake ability. Sure. I think I'm going to give this a four for that reason. Mm -hmm. Not that it's bad in no. any way or negative. No. It's not necessarily a bad thing but I can't give it a five just because I think there's things you could do to make it stand out more. I'm not saying it needs that, but that's where the, the four came yeah. from. I am I absolutely love like the clean murdered out look to it, but I, I have to agree with you, I'm gonna give it a four. Okay, and then performance is obviously five. a five. Yeah, without a doubt. All right, now we will go to the lab, do some mathematics and reverse engineering and come up with the best of the gallery it's winner. It's just simple addition. But... Sean! Do the calculations. So we're gonna go through six to first place. Let's Coming do it. in at sixth place with 23 points out of 40, we got the good old 350Z. Coming in fair. right above the actually tied, uh, fifth and sixth tied, uh, we have the Audi with 23 points. So that is a fantastic car. However, yeah. I think the performance uh, side of things and the neck breakability it had, it it right had to go up end. against some contenders. Yeah. So coming in hot number fourth with 31 points. What do we got? We got our Toyota Yaris. Wow, I thought that was gonna yeah. place a lot higher. Just beating that by three points, we have the Nissan 200SX, the S15. Congratulations on third 34 place. points. That was a Absolutely dope well car. Deserved. Second place, so second and, oh man, oh man. The two Nissans went head to head. They did, actually the three Nissans went head to oh, head. Oh, that's true, yeah. So The two GTRs went head to head for first and second. 37 points out of 40. We had the R34 GTR, the one with the Volks, Damn. And the Midnight Purple so, R34. the best of the gallery, that Joes. That with 38 points just squeaking it out, we have the R32 GTR 
first place, best of the gallery. Congratulations. There it is. There it is. Well deserved. Awesome. Fantastic cars. I'm going to read the comments down below on what you guys rated each one. Maybe you think a different one deserved to win. Let us know. I want to hear it. And don't forget to add your car to the gallery at fitministries.com forward slash add so we can do more reviewing your cars. And then don't forget wheels, tires, suspension at fitministries.com. All the ones mentioned in this episode, you can get them there. This was fun. That was fun. Those were some crazy cars. Bye. Oh, Mike.